and Stella does not want them, but Simba says he's going to eat. Oh, uh-oh. Watch out, Simba. It's a trap. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to Abril, Michael C, and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. It's 9 a.m. Let's check in on the cats before I leave. Here's Boo. He's resting on top of the cat tower. Have a nice day, Boo. Here's Stella. She's laying on the cushion in the living room. She was watching the centipede video. This is the tablet she was watching. And here's Simba. Simba's asleep in the cat tower. All the cats ate breakfast out of the automatic feeders today. So they're taking their after breakfast nap. Splash is under the bed right now and it's a bit dark under there. So let me tell you what happened to him. So before I go to bed, that's when I fill up the automatic feeders for the cats uh, with their breakfast. And yesterday afternoon, I bought some new commercial raw food for them because the scoops of homemade food that I make are more than like one serving per cat. And if I get the commercial food, I just give them like one primal nugget in each feeder along with a few crunchies and then they're good. So that's what I was doing. I was downstairs filling the feeders and Splash was downstairs and he was meowing at me. And I was like, okay, Splash, you want some extra crunchies? So I shut the door to downstairs and I gave him some extra crunchies and I said, okay, Splash, you eat your crunchies and then you can come upstairs. So I go upstairs and I shut the door because Boo and Stella were gonna go down and steal his crunchies. So then I filled up Boo's feeder with crunchies and I laid down on my bed and I was looking at my iPad for a few minutes and I was gonna give Splash a few minutes to uh, eat his food and then I was gonna go open the door. Well, I fell asleep. I fell asleep and the next thing I know I wake up and I'm hearing like a banging noise like a banging noise and I'm like what are the cats doing like what are they playing with what is all that noise and then I remembered that splash was downstairs so I look at the time and it's 2 30 in the morning so I go and I open the door and sure enough splash was banging on the door and when I opened the door he was meowing at me so much he was like mad I think that might be why he's hiding under the bed today I think he's afraid I'm going to put him back in the basement. I have to laugh. And here's Stella. Stella has decided she's going to hunt some bugs. What you doing, Stella? You going after the worms? It is 5.15 p.m. And Hydrox is in his heated cat house. I just gave him a full can of food. Some of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And all the food that I put out for breakfast this morning has been eaten. I'm assuming he ate it. I don't know. I would have to check the security cameras. And I'm also going to put out some chicken necks. The other day I roasted a whole bunch of chicken necks for the cats. Nobody wants to eat them. If I cut them up, if I give them whole, no matter what. I mean, the other day Boo nibbled on one, but that was it. He never went back and finished it or ate more of it. So I'm going to put a few of these outside also for Hydrax or Ditto or whoever. Good night, Boo. Who's getting some pets before we go to sleep? It's 8 a.m. Good morning, Boo. All the cats had breakfast in their automatic feeders today. Good morning, Stella. Stella is sitting on the bed with my purse. She was watching me get ready.
for my day. Stella, turn around and look at the camera. Stella, turn around and look at the camera. Stella, look at me. Over here, look at the camera. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Simba. Simba's watching the rain. It's raining. It was yucky all night. It was like freezing rain all night. Right, Simba? We're very happy it's not snow, though. And this is Boo's automatic feeder. He ate his breakfast. So what happened was I heard him uh, eating his breakfast. And then I also heard him uh, walk out of this room. And I looked and he ate half of his rabbit nugget. The cats get the primal raw rabbit nuggets in these feeders. And so what I did to be nice was I put a few crunchies on what was left. And then he came back and he ate it all. So I, I know he's been enjoying breakfast out of the feeder. Good morning, Splash. And this is what's going on with the downstairs feeders. Look at this, they're empty. They ate everything. The downstairs feeders had um, one of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets along with a few crunchies also. It is 8.45 a.m. and Hydrox is in his house. He's nice and warm and dry in there. And it's really wet and cold outside, but I'm gonna put some food together for him. All of the food bowls outside are like full of water, so I'm going to empty them out. This food has to go under the feeding table because it is still kind of drizzling out. And if it, if the bowl is out in the open, it will just get soaked. So I just put food out for Hydrox and he does not even want to leave his shelter. He says, I'm happy here. I'm just going to stay in here and watch the rain. I'm here with the cats and they're having a special Valentine's Day treat. This is a bag of mercies. Um, I think these are cat treats. It's either cat food or cat treats. Uh, these are all the way from Germany. Thank you, Maria, for sending these to the cats. They are geflugel, which uh, I think that's either chicken or turkey. And the cats have never tried these before, so they're gonna try them now as a treat. I have no idea what the ingredients are because none of them are in English. I'm here with Boo, Simba, Stella, and Splash. Ready guys? They're each gonna get a few to try. So there's two there, and two there, and two here. There you go, Splash. There you go, Simba. Boo, there's treats here, try them. Boo says he's not trying them. They're not crunchies. Simba's trying his. Stella licked hers and she's not eating them. And Splash does not want to eat them either. Okay guys, you want me to give you a few more? I'll give you a few more. Maybe you need a few more to taste them. Here you go. There's there. There's another one there. There's another one for Simba. There you guys go. And I'll give two more to Splash. Stella did not want to eat hers, so Simba is eating hers. And Splash says, nope, they're not for him. He's just going to walk away. Come on, Boo. You going to eat those? You going to try them? Boo says he does not want them. And Stella does not want them, but Simba says he's going to eat. Oh, uh-oh. Watch out, Simba. It's a trap. It's a treat trap. Stella might not want to eat them, but she might want to sit next to them for a while. Okay. 
What are you doing, Stella? Are you going to guard the treats? You guarding the treats? You don't want Simba to eat too many and get a bellyache? Is that what it is? Simba had his and he had Stella's. I don't think Stella wants him to eat splashes. And here's Boo sitting so nicely near his crunchy plate. All four treats on the crunchy plate and he's not touching any of them. You want another one, Simba? Here you go. Okay. Simba likes them. So since uh, the cats are not really a fan of these, I'm actually going to go give some to Hydrox. They're pretty soft. He should be able to eat them. I just gave some to Hydrox and uh, he didn't go for them, so I'm putting some in his bowl out here. I just put some near the front of Hydrox's house. I don't know if you could see them. They're just kind of tossed and uh, he can go eat them if he wants to. It is 6.29 p.m. and Hydrox is back in his cat house. He was hanging out outside earlier. Uh, it stopped raining today. And he was meowing so I gave him food. He has a bowl of homemade raw food with water mixed in. And there's a can of food in the Heated Kitty Cafe and there are some of the Mercy's treats in the Heated Kitty Cafe. And there's still some dry food in the feeder. So there's plenty of food for him to choose from. So the cats got their new Valentine's Day toys from Zoa maybe like five or six hours ago. And someone already got a ribbon out of it. Look, someone already took a ribbon out of it. I think it was Boo. I think Boo thinks these ribbons are like feathers and he's plucking them out. Boo, don't eat that. Don't eat that. This is what I got the cats for Valentine's Day. It's a new feather boa. It's pink. I get these at Joann's and I think they're $5.99 and I had a 50% off coupon so I got it for about $3. And Stella loves it. Look at this. She's already claimed it as hers. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Stella. Do you like your present? Do you want me to take the tag off of it, Stella, so you can wear it? Happy Valentine's Day, boo. Stella's stopping by the crunchy jar as she walks around the room in her feathers. Here's Simba wearing the boa. Simba, you like the boa? Simba's eating the feathers. Simba, it's not cotton candy. That's not cotton candy, Simba. That's a feather boa. Pink is not really Simba's color. He's watching Boo. Boo's looking for crunchies. You look so handsome, Simba. Here's Boo posing with all of his Valentine's Day treats. His toys. The toy from Zoa, even though I think that's Stella's. Look how handsome Boo is. I'm here with Stella, and the cats got a Valentine's Day gift from their grandparents. Is Stella going to open it? You going to open it, Stella? You going to sit next to it? She's going to smell it. Okay, Stella, let's open it. Let's see what you got. Here's the tag. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, Stella, Boo, Splash, Simba, and Hydrox. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. 
on the other side of that, it's red. Got a red ribbon, Stella. Oh, it's part of the bag. What you get, Stella? She's watching. What you get, Stella? What you get, boo? What is this? Look. You guys got something. It feels like treats. What you get? You got Simply Nourish Source Jerky Bites Real Chicken is the number one ingredient. And this is chicken recipe. And the ingredients are chicken, chickpeas, glycerin, natural flavors, citrus fiber, citric acid, a preservative, salt, and mixed to cough rolls. So the cats might like this. There are chickpeas in it, and they're not the biggest fans of chickpeas, but they'll try it. They'll give it a try. And what do we have here, Boo? This feels like some bench and field treats. Yeah. It's a bottle of holistic natural feline treats. The cats love these. And what is this? Is this another bottle of the bench and field treats? Here's another bottle of their favorite treats. Oh, look at this. It looks like the cats are set for a while. There's heart stickers on this one. And here's another bottle of Holistic Natural Feline Treats. And I normally give like two or three of these to each cat in the morning with their breakfast. And sometimes they get another two or three later in the day. Wow, this is like a few months supply, boo. This looks like another bottle of Bench of Field Treats. Four bottles of Bench of Field Treats, that's awesome. Definitely helps save me money. What do we have here? What is this? This is a can of food. This is a can of the Trader Joe's Turkey and Giblets Dinner. This is what Hydrox loves. This is what I feed Hydrox and Ditto. They love this food. And this feels like another bag of treats. And this is Authority Weight Management Cat Treats, grain-free and gluten-free chicken formula. And let's take a look at the ingredients. The ingredients are chicken, potato flour, vegetable glycerin, potato starch, gelatin, lecithin, citric acid, potassium sorbate, mixed cough rolls. Huh. That actually looks pretty good. We'll see if the cats like these. And here's a small can of food. What did you guys get? Oh, check it out. It is a can of the Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets and Lobster Consomme. This is one of their favorite foods. Actually, today is Friday and they usually have fish on Friday but they had rabbit in their automatic feeders. So for dinner, they'll probably have uh, sardines. And here's another can of food, what you guys get? Another can of Tiki Cat sardine cutlets and lobster consomme. And these are the small cans. So uh, for the small cans, I would have to use several of them to feed the cats. And what's in here? This is a Simply Nourish Filet. Real mackerel is the number one ingredient and it says it's mackerel. Okay, that's a filet of mackerel. And the ingredients are mackerel, water sufficient for processing, salt, and celery powder. That's interesting. Why would they add salt to that? Maybe to preserve it, but it'll be interesting to see how the cats like this one. I wonder if they'll eat it.
This feels like another bag of treats. This is Authority Healthy Joint Support Cat Treats. This might be good for Simba. A grain free and gluten free salmon formula with omega 3s, no corn and wheat. Ingredients are salmon, potato flour, vegetable glycerin, potato starch, gelatin, lecithin, citric acid, potassium sorbate, and mixed tocopherols. That looks pretty good too. We'll see if the cats eat these. Since the cats are on a raw food diet, they can be very fussy with the treats that they eat. Um, if the treats are not mostly uh, meat, they tend to not like them. And here's another can of Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets in Lobster Consomme. Oh, check this out. This is their new favorite treat. This is wild Alaskan pink salmon from Trader Joe's. This is skinless, boneless with no salt added. They went crazy when I gave this to them. They love this, so thank you very much. What do we have here? Oh. And this is a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets dinner. Again, Hydrox and Ditto love this. Here we have another can of food. This is Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets and Lobster Consomme. And this is how Boo's watching me the whole time. Boo's sitting here watching me while he's with his Valentine's toy. Actually, I think that's Stella's Valentine's toy. And what do we have here? It feels like salmon. Yep, another can of Alaskan pink salmon. This is great. It definitely saves me money because these are like $3 a can, I think. And here's another can. Is this another can of salmon? You guys are set. You guys are set for salmon. That Alaskan pink salmon. They love this stuff. This is the stuff that's like crack for cats. Only one more thing left. And this is the last thing in the bag. What you guys get? Maybe they'll have salmon for Valentine's Day dinner today. They got another can of salmon. Okay, guys, you'll have salmon. Salmon for dinner, how's that sound? The cats say thank you very much to grandma and grandpa for all of their favorite treats and food. And Boo can't wait. He says, when are we gonna eat out of the cans? Good morning, Hydrox, happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna give you some salmon, okay? You wanna get salmon. Hydrox is getting half of a can of the canned salmon with some warm water mixed in. And there he goes, he went straight for it. And I'm glad he likes it. So that's his Valentine's Day treat. He's really enjoying that. And the window that I am filming through is fogging up from the cold. So the cats smelled the salmon and now they want to eat. So I opened one of the small cans of sardines that they got for Valentine's Day. And they're each getting like one fourth of it because they already had breakfast in their feeders. Eat your food, Splash. He's thinking about it. There he goes. Where you going? You eat it, Splashy. This is how Stella is enjoying her Valentine's Day. She's laying on the bed, watching her favorite movie, which is The Centipedes, and she's wearing her brand new feather boa. She looks so pretty. She says she's probably gonna take a nap too, cause she's so comfortable. And Boo says, this is how he's spending his Valentine's Day laying on top of the cat tower in the sun and watching Stella because he thinks Stella is so beautiful and he loves how she looks in her new pink boa. Right, Boo? He's so happy. You're such a happy boy. He's really happy because they had sardines for breakfast too. Yeah, Boo. Don't worry, Stella's looking at you too. She thinks you're very handsome, Boo. 
You want to wear your white boa? You want to wear some white feathers? No? Stella, you look so pretty in your pink boa. You look so pretty. She says, leave me alone. I'm watching bugs. It is 4 p.m. I just got home and Stella has not moved all day. The only thing I think she took off the feather boa because it looks like she's laying on it instead of wearing it. <laughs> but that's exactly where I left her. That's where she was this morning watching videos on the tablet. And that's where she is now, but Splash joined her. How you doing, Stella? Did you have a nice day? Stella said she had a really nice day. She had a lovely day, right Stella? Yeah. She's a very happy girl. Hello, Boo. Boo says he had a nice day also. He was in his room. What were you doing in your room? You are laying by the windows? You are watching Hydrox? Okay, Boo. I'll give you some pets. Look at your fur. You have such nice fur. It's getting long. It's getting long. You need to be brushed, boo. Okay. Where's Simba at? Where's Simba? I haven't seen Simba. I just found Simba. Simba's hanging out in the new cat bed. He loves it in there. How you doing, Simba? How you doing, Simba? Did you have a nice Valentine's Day? It is 5.25 p.m. I'm getting ready to feed Hydrox, and Stella and Boo just got into a really big fight. They were clawing at each other, and there was fur flying, and I had to yell and break it up. For dinner today, the cats are having a can of this Trader Joe's wild Alaskan pink salmon. It's skinless, boneless, no salt added. This is people food, and they got this for Valentine's Day from their grandparents. So this is gonna be a treat, and this is what they're gonna have for dinner. And the cats are having their Valentine's dinner on autumn plates because I forgot to buy Valentine's plates, and I have so many of these autumn plates because they were on clearance for like 90% off, and they were super cheap. So um, I stocked up and uh, yeah, so we're gonna be eating on autumn plates for quite some time. This is what the salmon looks like in the can. I'm gonna take it out of the can, mash it up with a fork, add some water to it, and then that's what the cats are gonna get. And this is what it looks like after water has been mixed in. It was actually kind of dry and it took quite a bit of water and now it has a really nice broth too. So this can made four really nice size portions. And I hope the cats like it. They're not getting any crunchies on it. Okay guys. Happy Valentine's Day. This is salmon. You guys like the salmon.
So Splash ran onto the steps. I don't know if he wants to eat on the steps or what, but I have to pick up his food because I don't want any of the cats overeating. I feel like these are large portions, even though that one can is being split four ways. So I have to make sure none of them are overeating on this because if they overeat, they might vomit. Splash went upstairs, so I put his food aside. He might want to finish it later. Stella and Boo are now having a nice romantic dinner together. Someone's eating over here on this rug that needs to be vacuumed. I just split them up. This is the food that Simba left on his plate. This is the food that Splash left on his plate. I'm surprised he did not lick up all the liquid. This is what Stella left on her plate. And even Boo left some food on his plate, which is surprising. So it looks like um, I could probably get two meals out of one can because the cats pretty much ate about half of what I gave them. I just scraped down their plates and yeah, look, it's about half of uh, the food that I had in here originally. So that's good to know considering one can is about $3. That means uh, it would be like $1.50 per meal and that would feed four cats. For some reason, Boo loves Stella's toy. Like, he loves this one. <gasps> Boo. How you doing, Boo? You need to relax and digest your food, okay? Just relax and digest your food. You had a lot of fish. It's 6.41 p.m. and look what's going on here. All the cats are taking a nap and Stella's sleeping on the tablet. I think she wants me to put it on. Simba's sleeping on the bed with her. Splash is sleeping on the cat tower. Boo's wide awake. I don't know why, but he's all running around the house and just totally wide awake. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.